Hello everyone, I'm Matt Hoots of Sawhorse here in Atlanta, Georgia. We're a design build firm and we've been established as one of those essential businesses because we're still dealing with construction. However, I want to make sure that our job sites are safe, not only for our clients but also for our workers. So we've come up with a way to retrofit an existing hose bib to make it a safe wash station so everybody can clean their hands on the job site and be safe. Right, let's talk about the parts that go into making this. I chose copper because bacteria has a hard time growing on this and I figured if people accidentally do touch this that you know after an hour or so that the bacteria will die because copper does not allow them or create a, a nice environment for them. So we've also we've got the copper. I chose some stainless steel machine screws. In this case they are 832 by one inch and a half. Um, and again if you have a job site that's going to go on for a long time Stainless steel um, makes sense because you don't have to worry about the screws that, you, that you're using rusting and then you accidentally scratch yourself and you can get tetanus from a screw that is not stainless steel. I also got the um, washers and the bolts to go along with it. And again, because we are cutting this and you might have an edge that's, that um, has burrs on it, I went ahead and got some caps as well. You don't need solder for these, you can just pressure fit them and they'll hold, and they'll hold nicely. Um, other tools you might need, a uh, pipe cutter, um, you could either use a drill press or a screwdriver drill um, and also make sure that you've got some soap um, for your wash station. What I did also is created some instructions to put on the wash station so that way when workers come up there they follow these instructions to the T and they can make sure that they are not going to pass bacteria or viruses from one person to the next. All right, in our design, we found that somewhere between 9 and 10 inches is a good length. If it's too short, then you won't be able to get your wrist around. And if it's too long, if somebody's walking by, they can trip over. It becomes another hazard on the job site. So just using the pipe cutter, going to cut it. And then once we have this cut in place, we're going to use our drill press to put a couple holes in it. Now to mark the holes, just align this with the top of your hose bib. And wherever there's an opening, Mark that on the pipe and that's where your hole is going to be. And we'll show you that here in a second. And here I'm going to use a drill press. Um, I also used on a different one, I used a hand drill and it worked just as, just as well. Um, now make sure you do through the top and also through the bottom because the bolt that we're going to attach needs to go all the way through the pipe. Once you've got the pipe drill through bring it outside I've got the stainless steel screws with the washer pre-assembled it's going to go through the top one I'm gonna go ahead and stick a washer and a nut on this to kind of hold it in place now I'm not going to tighten it too much I'm just going to hand tighten it that way when I'm ready for the next one I can pull that through pretty easily you know, in case I need to make any hand adjustments again this doesn't have to be perfect it just has to be good enough to hold in place that way when you tighten it um, it's going to be a lot more firm and you can go ahead and use it at that at that point I've just got a couple more turns on each of these then we're going to be set to use and demonstrate that um, keep in mind we designed this for exterior use uh, the the copper pipe is going to do just fine outside and the nuts and bolts that we used are perfect as well because they are not going to rust because they're stainless steel. Once you've got it installed, make sure to watch our next video on how to use this and wash your hands properly. Thanks again for watching our video and for your convenience, we've loaded up the next video. Just click on the next button over there. And also if you liked the video and you wanna see more just like it, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. Make sure you hit the notifications and we'll see you next time.